Hey Donna, um, just want to explain your new email setup. All these are set up on the new uh, Google Apps, except um, I didn't set that one up. I don't know if there's a need for it. Um, actually, maybe setting up your SSL certificate. I may need that. Um, but all the rest I've imitated on Google Apps. So here we are, Donna Funk. Your primary is info, and you can see all these aliases on the right. Okay, and you got 15 gigs of storage, which um, I've had one account for about 10 years now, and I'm still at 12 gigs. So if you just delete your images, uh, your big photos that people send you, and just move them to a special place or another place, um, you can basically this will be enough for your entire lifetime potentially. Um, okay, so to log into your now you can use. Um, uh, your Windows um, email program and you just go to the link that I'll send you in the email and it says uh, I want to enable IMAP I've already done that for you so you, you can skip that step so you can just scroll down and choose which um, device you want I believe you're using Windows Mail okay so you just follow these steps and when it comes to your username you put um, info at moondoggycoffee.com and the password that I gave you and just follow these settings okay and the other thing to think about to consider is just get rid of Outlook or your whatever email program you're using completely because if you've got a fairly good internet connection um, this is may, way more efficient I find because you can um, I've got it set up so that um, um, your accounts here, okay, all these work. So you can, whenever you create an email, it'll come. You can send it from any one of these addresses: Donna, Fun Job, Zephyr, etc. And if you want any more in here, just let me know. But more importantly, I've got the ones that are sent to Donna. You'll say it says Donna right here, okay. And if one says Fun Jobs, that you haven't got any so far. But if one was a mail to fun jobs at Moondoggy Coffee, it would show up in your inbox, but would also be automatically filtered to this folder on the left. Now the cool thing about these folders, why it's more sophisticated <coughs> than most email <coughs> excuse me, than most email programs is you can have the same email in more than one folder. And that's why they're called labels rather than folders. So you can have uh, like a receipt. Um, go to both fun jobs and you can create a new folder um, just by say for example this email right here you can just create a new filter um, or a new label pardon me and you can call it um, let's just for example uh, that wasn't the proper way to do it let's just go back here daily drool so create a new a new label and call it daily drool okay and um, there we go and uh, oops and then I didn't quite do that right here either because basically what we want to do is we want it to automatically go into the daily drool folder so let's go to the settings for that and go to labels uh, pardon me there's the label daily drool okay but we want to create a filter so we go down here, create a new filter, and just call it, um, uh, well, it's got the subject, daily drool, I believe that was in this. So anything with the words daily drool, with one or two words, um, just that has the, or has the words in there, just copy there, or there, or there with a space, and then create a filter, and then you choose the label, and it goes into the folder, daily drool so it you it never goes to, to the spam okay and if you want to skip the inbox you can choose that um, but let's just say you wanted the inbox and but you also want it to go in the daily drool um, there you go so that's done so you see on the left there um, there it is automatically in the daily drool but um, Anyway, so that's how you create filters. Now, when you compose a new email address, a new email, you can see this arrow here. You can see who, 
who you want to reply from. Okay, so there's fun job, Zephyr, etc. So you can see it's pretty powerful and pretty cool. And um, if you want a full window option, you just and you want to reply to this one, but you want the full screen version, you click, you put your finger on the shift button and then hit the reply. Well, that didn't quite work. I'm wondering why this preferences checks plain text mode. Um, there's yeah, if you click down here, plain text mode. Okay, I'm going to try that again because it works on my computer. I'm not sure what's going on here. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to put my finger on the shift. Oh, this is a browser thing. It doesn't work in this browser. I'm using Opera right now. It's not the normal browser that I use. Anyway, so um, I don't want to get too complex, but that basically uh, gives you an option um, to just think about just logging into Gmail every day and not using your Windows program. But if you want to use your Windows program, just follow the steps here and just put in your email address here and your password and um, that should do it.